Introducing the all new Corolla. The Nimitz Hill home invasion that left Rebecca Piper partially paralyzed sparked community outrage and inspired new laws with harsher penalties for similar crimes, such as making home invasions a first degree felony, the Castle Doctrine Law, and the Three Strikes Law. Those issues were highlighted today during the sentencing of Anthony Mendiola. What about uh, those changes uh, in the, the laws and in society's views about uh, uh, about crime as it is now, and, and how should that impact on the court's uh, sentencing decision in this case? I think the fact that we pass a law right after an event is exactly the pause that makes us go, well, we always want to give the max. That, that's human nature. But every time we take a step back and look at the consequences of the prison system in a place like California, we start rethinking those acts. Do we really want, as a society, to have people put in jail for extraordinary long periods of time and then come back to the community without the support, without the support of their family? Although Mendiola did not brutally beat Piper, that was done by Raymond Tatao. He was found guilty of planning the burglary and recruiting Tatao and 17-year-old Kyle Cruz to finish the job. When Becky Piper was laying on the ground, tied up, gagged, with her eyes rolling back in her head, this defendant was yelling at her, where's the money? Where's the money? This defendant, who uh, counted a, a police detective, Jeremiah DeChavez, as a friend, had his phone number, didn't make a phone call to anybody, to 911, to Jeremiah DeChavez. The air pistol was originally used to try and scare the defendant. And that knowing that somebody would use it as a physical object out of rage out of a reckless act, couldn't have been known beforehand. Your Honor, this defendant's criminal history goes back to 1991. He was uh, declared out of control when he was seven or eight years old, and he said he committed his first crime when he was 12. Your Honor, there's not a risk that this defendant will commit another crime. There is a guarantee that this defendant will commit another crime. Rebecca Piper, who is partially paralyzed and will have to undergo physical therapy for years, appeared via Skype. Rayla, everything that you let happen to me from watching as I ended up half paralyzed, I forgave you. And I still forgive you. But I will not forget. As I keep improving, as I keep getting stronger and stronger each day, I will not forget that you stood idly by while I got beaten to a pulp and left for dead. For the offense of second degree robbery. The court hereby sentences um, Mr. Mendiola to a uh, term of 10 years, which is the maximum imposed under the statute. The court also finds that uh, for the offense of assault as a misdemeanor, the court hereby sentences Mr. Mendiola to the maximum of one year pursuant to the statute. And for the offense of burglary as a second degree felony, the court finds and imposes the sentence of Mr. Mendiola of the maximum of 10 years.